Hello friends. I have a new recipe with watermelon rinds. This is the watermelon rinds. I have washed it and it is like this now. So you can leave this. So you can leave this. That's okay. But we have to remove this dark green skin. We'll just scrape it out. Now. Like this, we need to do it. So after it, the skin is removed, it looks like this. So I'm going to chop it down now. cubes so this is how it looks cubes and we will be cooking this Here I have chopped the watermelon rinds, removing after removing the skin, the dark green skin, and then it looks like this. And uh, here are the ingredients: finely chopped onion, half in number. It's, it was a big onion, so I just took half, and two uh, split green chilies, coriander leaves. Uh, here I have. Uh, some asafoetida and some uh, fenugreek powdered salt then I have some urad dal that is black gram and this is split chickpeas this is all for seasoning chickpeas that is uh, chana dal in Indian language this is urad dal and chana dal here I have taken chili powder and turmeric. This is about one teaspoon of chili powder and about half a teaspoon of turmeric. These are all two teaspoons of uh, urad dal and chana dal. This is two tablespoons of coriander powder. And here I have some cumin seeds for seasoning. So these are all the ingredients that I need then I have the oil that's all and come let's make the dish now I forgot to mention this curry leaves and tomato watermelon is a secret superfood the outer green dark green but also can be eaten but for my recipe I don't need the green part so I'm removing it but that can also be cooked in many ways in curries recipes you can meet, make tea out of it or smoothies but today I'm not using that this watermelon rinds are really rich in nutrients the whole of the watermelon is good for hydrating us but the rinds are rich in nutrients they have high concentration of carotenoids antioxidants minerals vitamins and active ingredients it is very low in calories I added the cumin seed for tempering and then the urad dal and now the chana dal and the curry leaves. I took about one tablespoon of oil. 
just need to be sorted a little the watermelon the watermelon rinds remove free radicals and fight oxidative stress which prevents heart diseases and macular degeneration and prevents cancer so just now i added the split green chilies and saute a little this is also low in cal calories it reduces body fat it is good for digestion it reduces blood pressure and it reduces insulin resistance so good for diabetes it's very very high in fiber it's rich in vitamin c vitamin a b6 potassium magnesium zinc iron it removes muscle soreness I have added the onions and sauteing it now. <coughs> Watermelon rinds are very good for skin health. It reduces the inflammation in the body. It has got large amount of lycopene, which is a ingredient for cancer prevention. and these watermelon rinds are a natural viagra so you can see the benefits of the watermelon rinds now the whole fruit is very nutritious and good for us we can eat them daily it's a great thing to reduce oxidative stress that we gain every day from all our lifestyle you do generate a lot of oxidative stress that can be removed by eating these the fruit and also the rind the rinds are much richer than the fruit itself I have added the tomatoes. They are one in number, finely chopped. This watermelon rinds also aid in weight loss as they are very. rich in fiber and low in calories so it is good to have at least one cup of watermelon every day you can cook the rinds in different ways you can make smoothies out of them can make tea just boil them and have it as a tea you can have it in soups in curries you can make pickle out of that so this is just one recipe simple one this recipe goes well with rice and roti or chapati or the indian tortilla I added about two teaspoons of coriander powder and turmeric powder and about fifty ml of water. Give it a nice mix. Let them cook a little. 
you can also add ginger and garlic if you like it but I like it this way without them so this curry doesn't need them now I am adding the finely chopped watermelon rinds I have removed the dark green part you can add them as well but for this recipe I have removed it so you can see how rich this rinds are so next time when you buy a watermelon don't throw them use them in some other way this curry is tasty and easy to make and requires just few ingredients Keep sautéing till the rinds are cooked well. They soften a little. I just put on a lid and allow them to cook well. You can see they are releasing the water. So now I am adding the coriander leaves for garnishing. My curry is almost ready. The rinds are cooked well. And with all the ingredients and the masalas, they taste well. So you can see my curry is ready now. I'm going to serve it. Serve it hot with chapatis or rice. So you can see that I have just cooked the secret super food. Many don't know about it. So please do try this recipe at your homes. Share it with your friends and family. And please do subscribe to my channel. Like and share this recipe with everyone. You can see how nice it looks, tempting, colorful and it really tastes good. Please do try it for me and thank you all for watching.